Welcome back to the channel, everybody. We are here to talk about Midwest Permacolum brackets, and more importantly, the reason that you wanna look into these for a future build, the benefits of them, and then I'm gonna give you a couple different options and ways to use them. But the important part of this video, the reason that I decided to make it was because I have spent numerous hours of my life replying and commenting and discussing how to get financing for a post frame, how to keep the post frame out of the ground, what's the best way to build a post frame, and where are those brackets that I see on your videos from, and how do I get them? I've done that a million times, and I thought, why am I doing that? Let's make a video, let's put all this information in one place so that you guys can use it to your advantage. So first off, these are made by Midwest Permacolum. That is a bigger company that has, I think, franchises around them. So I use, so Permacolum, I think, is a brand, and then Midwest Permacolum is like the local branch or office. I could be totally wrong, that's the way I've always understood it. So maybe, um, maybe somebody wants to correct me, but I buy all my brackets from Midwest Permacolum. They're only a couple hours away from me, and I do believe that they are different entities from other Permacolum factories or sales across the country. So the important thing to note is that there's probably an availability to get a Permacolum bracket like this in your area. I'm going to leave my contact's name down below. He doesn't know I'm doing this, so you might blow up his phone and he might be like, what the heck is going on? I did not give him a heads up on this, um, that I was making this video today. But I will drop his information in the comments section or in the description so you guys can call him if you're looking for these brackets. If you mention me, that's great too, no big deal, but he's probably gonna give you a discount. And obviously, if I can save you guys some money, that is awesome. So what we have here on the table are a couple different brackets that we use. And I just wanted to give you the understanding that they are out there, they are different, and different sol solutions for different problems. So we don't ever like to put wood in the ground. I haven't done it since 2014. I think it's important because I don't want to have to replace a post. Can it be done? Yes. Do I want to do it? No. So this has solved that problem for us. This is the typical permacolum bracket that we would normally use. And this is the sturdy wall 630T. And what that means is that it's a three ply two by six bracket. So three ply laminated columns are gonna sit in here. And the OT is because we use Ohio Timberland post and they are a little bit different thickness than some of your other posts. So it's important to make sure that if you do order brackets, from Midwest Permacolum, you let them know the style and type of post that you're gonna be utilizing, but the general gist of all of these is gonna to apply to whatever column you use with the bracket. What you'll notice is we've got these four rebars that come out of the bottom, and this is all engineered. We don't have to worry about those J hooks at the bottom. I know people are so worried about it. I promise you, I've done video. We've had to pull these out because we messed up, and anytime I've ever tried, I have pulled the entire concrete pier out of the ground before we damaged the bracket. Now, all of the welds on a Midwest Permacolum bracket are robotically welded, so that's a good thing because humans do make errors and robots are consistent, efficient, and going to be reliable. So that's a, a good thing because this is a structural bracket, and I think that's why they probably have to go through that process because it allows for easier testing, I'm assuming, once again, talking out of, um, my butt there. This is the wet set version that we put in a lot of our concrete piers, mm -hmm. but we also use, anymore we use a lot more of these. These are our dry set brackets. And as you can see, they're going to sit onto a surface and they have two larger holes where we put like a Simpson Titan HD 5 8 anchor bolt into the concrete. It's amazing how strong these are. I can't really share the exact strength. There's always going to be some uh, things that will play into the strength, like the PSI mix, stuff like that. But in my situation, we've built massive structures, 20 foot tall, 84 foot wide. And when you get up on a building that is secured by these brackets, you can tell the difference from a building that you've put wood into the ground. There's always a little bit of movement in a soil versus these are very rigid. They're all made out of quarter inch American steel. So that's something that I feel good about. It's not steel that's sourced from overseas. This is American steel 
and it's quarter inch thick plate, which is super rigid and heavy duty for our application. Now, one of the things that's not super important to me, but I think it is important, is that they use a coating that they've done testing where it has surpassed like the 2000 hour salt water spray. Now, this bracket right here, I pulled from outside. You can see it was sit, I usually stand them upside down. We've got a, I mean, there's slight rust on some of these rebars, I mean, minimally but I'm, I'm assuming they don't really worry too much about painting that because it goes in the concrete anyway. But this bracket still looks great. We've got this line here that, uh, that's just the dirt and debris because it was probably sitting somewhere in snow and you can kind of see it all the way around the bracket. But this is a beefy bracket. This is for our three ply two by eights. We've gone all the way up to, I do believe, uh, a four ply two by eight bracket. And those are big, but the paint system is going to last especially long enough to get your building up. I mean, once the building's up, these brackets are kind of not exposed anyway, so it's not as big of a deal, but there you go. The paint is made to last 2,000 hour spray. Now, speaking of different types, these are all for Ohio Timberland. You know, whether it's a three ply, a four ply, they have over like 60 different combinations for all their types of brackets. So I'm pretty sure if you have a wood column that you need to mount somewhere, this is a good option, but the important thing, the reason I really wanted to make this is to let you guys know and to have this information, and I'm sure if you were to visit the Midwest Perma Column link in the description, you would be able to find all these spec sheets, but these are ICC rated brackets. You might be saying, what does that really mean? Well, they're IBC and IRC approved. So that is what's gonna allow you to take this information to your banker let them know that you're gonna be building a post frame with these brackets on a foundation, whether it's a pier or a wall, and they should be able to look at that and it should meet code requirements, which is gonna allow for quicker permitting throughout your process. So this, I feel like, is a very big part in getting your local municipality or county zoning to, to allow you to build your dream barn dominium. It has allowed us to do that, but I think you also need to educate on what you're doing. I always say, don't go to a banker and say, I'm building a barn house. They will instantly assume that you're gonna be doing something that is not a 30 year mortgage worthy product. Like you're not building something that's worthy of a 30 year mortgage. So this shows a permanent structure. It's a long lasting structure and it's an approved foundation system for the ICC. So. That was the big reason to make this video. You know, if you have questions about these brackets, obviously I would love to answer them, but just know that if you are planning a build in the future, if you want to get financing for it because you don't just have cash laying underneath your mattress, this is, a, this is one of the tools that you need to have in your arsenal when you go to the bank. You need to have this information and let them know and let your builder know that this is what you want. I don't know if there's other brackets on the market that are ICC rated and approved for residential mortgages. You know, Freddie, Freddie Mac, Fannie Mae, this is gonna be able to be used for one of those instances where they're gonna be the lender or the underwriter or whatever that is. Um, I might be off on my jargon there, guys, but I think you get the gist. These things are awesome. I hope that this is just one of those videos where I could kind of answer some of those questions. I will put more information down below and I will pay attention down below to the keyboard warriors that have questions about these that are gonna tell me that these brackets are no good because they don't have J hooks at the bottom, even though the testing's been done by both me, but more importantly, Midwest Permacolum to ensure that these are, these are gonna do a great job and, uh, and allow you to build a, a long lasting permanent structure instead of like a 30 or 40 year structure with wood in the ground. So anyway, this is just to have all this information in one spot. So if you enjoyed it, please hit that thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed, do that as well because there's a lot more content coming out. Heck, I have a lot of content that's already out. And if you're just starting your journey of building your own barn dominium, there's a lot of information on the channel that I hope helps you. And I hope I can earn your subscription. But if nothing else, and this is the last video you ever watch. I appreciate you and we'll catch you on the next video.